I'll show you how to download the old Movie Maker to work in Windows 7. Okay, so open up your internet browser and go to this link. I'll put it in the description bar below. And then this is a short article about why Windows Live Movie Maker isn't good. And what you want to do is click this link. Okay, now you want to make sure you click this download. As you can see, Microsoft Download Center. So it's completely virus free and safe. Make sure you do not click this because it will just download Windows Live Movie Maker again. So you want to click this download. The download screen should pop up soon. There we go. Now I click Save File. And then save it into wherever you want. I'll I save mine into the downloads, but I've already installed this and downloaded it, so I'll just cancel. Now this should come out with some a setup like this. Now you just double click on it, click Run. Win. Welcome to the Windows Movie Maker 2.6 setup window. So just click next, next. See, you can normally click next, but see, as I've already installed it, I can't. The only two options I've got is to repair or remove. So I'm just going to cancel it. Okay. And once you've installed it, you'll just have something like this. Movie Maker 2.6. As you can see, it's got all the old features, video effects, slow down, speed up, which is, I think, live is missing, I'm pretty sure. The old transitions are there, titles, once it loads, title, and yeah, so just cross it off. Now, if you would like to remove this, I'm not saying you have to, you can keep them both on there like I've got. I only use this to publish mainly, not anything else. Anyway, just cross it off. Now, control panel. This is to remove the Windows Live one. Uninstall. Okay, just to point out to you, Movie Maker, where is he? Oh, down here. Windows Movie Maker 2.6 is that one. So make sure you don't uninstall that one. If you want to un, you can if you want to uninstall M Windows Live Movie Maker, uninstall that. And yeah, that's the video. Thanks for watching.